I think you, uh, somebody should be a general practitioner because it's a great job. I just think if you're to choose a specialty, that's also a general job where you see all types of everything from the cradle to the grave, there's going to be no job that is as interesting, as stimulating, as challenging, as just satisfying. And the thing I love is the fact that no two days are ever the same. You'll never be bored. When there was like it, you might sort of say it's a bit stressful or you might say it's a bit busy, but those days pass and there's never been a day I didn't want to go to work. And I think the fact that you determine so much of your own day, you're your own boss, you, you clinically have you know, your own autonomy, which is, is really important, but you decide in the, the longer term when you're there and you become, you know, first say an assistant, become a partner, a principal in a practice, you're deciding clinical outcomes, you're deciding the forward looking nature of the practice, you're deciding a lot about the finances and the employment of people in the practice. And so some of your day becomes about that, but that can be interesting too, and some GPs really find it very rewarding. So the fact that every 15 minutes, now you do need to be able to deal with uncertainty, but that's what GP training is about. That's what so much of that four years is around. Every 15 minutes, a new problem walks in the door, they sit down, you listen, you're trained not to interrupt, and you hear the story. And as all the research shows, the history tells you the diagnosis and patients will tell us the diagnosis if we listen for long enough. And so much of, of, of the first half of say the 15 minutes is about that and then you're going into formulating an action plan, sharing it with the patient, coming to a decision and then deciding what to, to do next. And then the following 15 minutes you do it all again but about something entirely different. And that can be really very interesting and very soothing in a way because you just know that you've always got next week to sort out a problem. You've got another bite of the cherry. You can say, look, we'll get some blood tests done. We'll see you back in two weeks. Or indeed, you might say, look, I don't think we need to do anything today, but we'll just keep an eye on it. And if it's still bothering you in a month's time, you know, come back again. Or remember to get that test done in a year's time. You look, it's around the time of your birthday. Maybe just put that in your calendar, get the test done again. And it's that long, you know, eye approach always being aware that you get another second go. And I think that actually reduces a good bit of stress of general practice. The reasons to be a GP are many, but the core ones are about you'll make a difference. You will be important, you will be central, you will actually be a key decision maker, not just in a patient's life and in terms of their healthcare decisions. You'll be a key decision maker in a practice, which will be a hub of healthcare work. You'll be a key decision maker in the broader health service. You'll save lives. People don't realize this. They tend to think, oh, your general practice, it's quieter, more sedate. But you'll actually save more lives as a general practitioner across your professional lifetime than an ED physician will. Now, it won't come with blue flashing lights, but it will be real. And you'll know, you'll know when you make a difference. And that will bring that satisfaction. So it's not to say that other specialties aren't, don't have their rewards, but general practice brings such a broad breadth of rewards and you will not be a GP without knowing you make a difference.